Yo, what's going on, sexy sound on squad? We're doing a ranked one v one, and it's the new patch, the new season. Um, and Osiris got a pretty big buff, so there's a lot of changes. I mean, if if you haven't seen the changes, uh, I'll just throw this up real quick. And like there, like there's there's just actually like there's so many changes. <laughs> There's so many changes, but I want to focus on Osiris, which is somewhere here. There he is. Which his three when it's when he's tethered to somebody now reduces their attack speed. Um, how do you pause? Is it F10? It is F10. His three now reduces attack speed by 20%, which is big. Um, his passive, <coughs> excuse me. His passive now grants him double what the magical mitigation used to be. So it used to be eight percent. Now it is 16% damage mit or magical damage mitigation and physical damage mitigation, which is insane. Not to mention you get 20% attack speed when you are fragmented. So it's pretty insane. And then on top of everything, your one now passes through and damages enemy minions for 50% total. So what you used to do on this god... And what you might still do, I mean, it depends. Obviously, you know, this channel is about testing things out and seeing what we could potentially make meta and what uh, what we could make happening. Um, but I think... Oh, wait, hold on. I suck. Any good Osiris player will spam their abilities in base because you get your passive stacks up. Um, I'm going to be maxing my one here. I did put one point in everything because I might invade. But I'm going to be maxing my one here. And the reason I be, I'm maxing my one, other than the fact that it does 50% damage to minions and goes through them, is because the main aspect of going through the wave with your one is that you can poke with it. it, it it's not about the clear. Like, my clear is going to be poo-poo McGillicuddy regardless. <coughs> but... Excuse me. Um, uh, what was I going to say? My clear is going to be poo-poo anyways, but my poke will be really, really good. That's why I'm going Transcendence instead of Golden Blade. I'm sacrificing my clear to go Transcendence to really like like chunk him down. And I think you can go ability-based Osiris now rather than auto-attack-based. Because his one cooldown is a 5.6 second cooldown with no cooldown reduction, by the way. So when you have max cooldown reduction, that's like a two and a half second cooldown. It's a less, it's like a Hebo one. Also, I want to see if you can get recipes in duel. You can. I'm going to get the um, golden gooseberries. Because golden gooseberry recipe, if you don't know, there's all these recipes. I will go over them. I Maybe I'll do a, a patch review, actually, which I probably should do. Um, but there's recipes. They're completely free. They give no stats. However, they give passives. Um, and you have to stack those passives. So the golden gooseberry one is the only one I think that's actually effective. <laughs> it's the yeah, one that I, I, I think is like the only effective one. And it's basically a shitty golden blade for free, which, you know, let's be honest. That's pretty good. If you can get any extra clear for free. It is super worth it. All right. So he's doing he's doing Poseidon things where, you know, he clears and shit. Honestly, him, like, kind of being aggro here is kind of trippy. I'm slowing his attack speed and increasing mine. Yep, and that's a first blood, baby. Look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you. And the one... The one did 300 damage to him. It's not doing anything to the minions. It's kind of useless to the minions, but like... The fact that it goes through the minions means you poke so heavy with it, bro. It's nuts. Oh, that, that triggers me. Don't ult me. So the way you level up golden gooseberries, by the way, is don't don't don't, don't what, 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 what. I will eliminate you. 
I will eliminate you, sir. Whatever you think you might be able to do, you can't because I now have double the med the magical mitigations that I used to. Obviously good. I have 20% more attack speed and you have 20% less attack speed. I am slamming you at every every angle. So anyways, the way you level up golden gooseberries is by step one, getting 30 minion kills. Kind of not a big deal. It does take a minute because, you know, stacking. Um, and you do have to get the last hit, by the way, for that kill to count. So you have to get 30 minion kills. And then you have to get... Dude, can you just... Can you watch this? Like, this is insane. My one is just, like, obliterating. He can't stay away. I'm for 150 on cooldown, and the cooldown is 5.5. Anyways, the way you stack it, the first thing you need to do is get 30 kills, and then af after you get 30 minion kills, which it does count jungle minions as minions, um... After you get those 30, then the next thing you have to do is deal 750 damage with auto attacks against a god. So it's a little bit harder to do as like Osiris, for instance, because most of your damage is actually going to come from your abilities. But um, I mean, it's not that hard to stack. And at the end of the day, it's completely free. And the only possible downside is if you are six items, like if you are full build, then the downside is, oh, this gives no stats. Let's sell it for something. Which you're going to do anyway. So you don't need to like... You don't need to like prep yourself to sell it. You're going to do that regard. Um, and as you can see, it is tier 2 now. Which means I've done step 1. So step, step 2 is now what I need. Which is just... Oh my god, that triggers me. Which is just, um, 750 auto attack damage. He's just hiding. He's just hiding. My one hits him for 200 almost. Let me get red buff. I should be able to do this, right? Before he gets back. Tell me yes, please. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, nice. Perfect. Oh my goodness. This man just hit... He hit the nastiest back of all time. And then, <laughs> and then nothing came of it. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Like, he had a sicko back, finished Chronos Pendant, got tier two Bancrofts, full ulted me, and I, I just beads it. And then I beat his ass. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm tanky, and I deal damage. I'm an ability-based Osiris with no cooldown. You tell me if it's broken. How about that? But if I may chime in. By the way, I want to say this because I know people in the comments are going to say it. Um, Someone read me the changes to Osiris on my stream and I was like, that's, I mean, that, that won't change him that won't do anything like yeah he'll be a little bit better against magicals but like he'll still be a solo laner who cares i was wrong <laughs> i'm a i'm a man who can admit when i'm wrong and i was i was very wrong it definitely changes him at least in duel like it changes him a lot in duel i don't know about conquest can i just can i just say like uh, he hit me with 10 auto attacks his full three and an alt. I hit him with two ones and a two. And he was lower HP than I was. It is going to be kind of hard, though, to level this golden gooseberries. Because he's, he's just kind of sitting under tower. But if he fights me now, I die, right? 
probably. Yeah, probably. Is he buying wards? Like, actually? Because this man keeps warding me. <clears throat> I didn't mean to do that. Please don't crack in me. Please stop. He really wants to crack in me. Alright, I'm gonna go some more power. Like a crusher, maybe? Where's crusher? Oh no, I bought the wrong tier two, man. I mean, I guess I need Brawler's Beast Stick anyways. He is going Bancroft's, but... Still oops. I just need one more fight and I can level this Golden Gooseberry thing so that I can actually clear a wave. It would be so sick. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, let's just do this. Nice. I knew he couldn't kill me, by the way, because I have my passive up. And I wanted my auto attack damage. So now I have golden gooseberries. So now I get 30% of my auto attack damage is hit on gods and 50% to jungle camps and minions. Um, also, you are deceased. I am also deceased. But mainly, the more important part is you are. Now it's Crusher time. Crusher is actually probably the best item you can get on Osiris right now because they just buffed it. Uh, well, I guess they buffed it last patch now, but it has 20% attack speed attached to it and 10% pen. And your abilities do extra damage based on how much power you have. And Osiris now that his one goes through minions is, uh, I would definitely argue kind of ability based. I used to play him ability based anyways in solo lane and people called me an actual moron, but you can bully people so hard with glad shield and your one. And now that, uh, now that is one goes through minions, you can bully people so much harder. <laughs> and the cooldown is so short too, man. I, I literally have 10% cooldown and it's a 4.2 second cooldown. Crazy. If he comes over here, I'm pretty sure he just dies. Yeah, the free golden blade, granted, it's like a it's like a fourth item golden blade, but it's still like you feel it. You feel the gooseberries. Alright. There's his ult. I'm gonna kill him. Never mind, I missed everything. Oh man, he's so low. He's so low. He actually backed. He actually gave me the red buff. That's insane. Why would he do that? Wait, he might be around like a... Never mind. I saw him at his tower. <coughs> I was going to say he might be around a corner like waiting for me at my blue buff to murder me. But he wasn't. Thankfully. Wonder if he's doing bull demon. Uh, my next item is probably going to be Heartseeker. Because, I mean, I've been trying to convince you guys this entire video. I don't think I need to convince you guys anymore that Osiris is ability based. Um, 
But if you're still having trouble understanding me, just watch how this ability hits him. That one ability did 210 damage, and it is on a 4.2 second cooldown. And I can still build 20% cooldown. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a physical Hebo, dude. I really want to fight him, dude. No. Oh. Yes. Yes. Crusher. Let's go. 182 crusher damage. Wait, minions. 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 Come back to me. Oh, gosh. They ran. Um, bro, I gotta be honest, this one going through minions feels so good. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how else to say it, dude. I was wrong. Like, I genuinely think this buff to Osiris makes him incredible. Like, look, like twice as much magical damage mitigation, increase my attack speed by 20% by while lowering his by 20% and then like easier poke because it goes through minions. Obviously, I think the biggest change is the fact that the one goes through minions and you can use it to bully people really, really easy. But um, I think the, the double mitigations and the attack speed reduction is not to be overlooked. Like it's, it's really strong by itself. He does have max cooldown. I think I might just need to go bull demon here. He's kind of just waiting me out. Which is fine, but it is kind of annoying. So I might just go bull demon. And if he shows up at bull demon, I just alt him. And um, the slow for my two and my one combo will keep me next to him for my tether to actually go off. If he crackens me, I, I beat it and I kill him. Yeah, I mean, I, I just do bold even here. If he shows up, I should be able to kill him. I think he, he thought I was trying to flank him there. I saw him drop a ward right there. I'm just gonna bully him. A little bullying. I guess now I just wait for bold him again, and then I can sell my golden gooseberries now for an actual tier uh, tier three item, which would probably just be serrated. Because I only have... I only have 20% pen. I could go Titan's Bane, actually. To further increase that ability damage I'm dealing. Because, like, my 2... Hit him for 273 plus 54 plus 40. Like, my 2 hit him for 400. Almost. It's like 3... Yeah, like 370. I do actually wonder if Titan's Bane would be better here. He is going more 
more life steal. I don't think that really bothers me though. Not gonna pick up the blue because I don't care. Alright, he should die here actually. Okay, never mind. I got out life shield. Deepers. I just died to his two, man. Three autos from his two. Damn, that kind of sucks. He has triple life steal, I guess. And he does have 30% pen. I kind of wonder if I should just do this. I don't know. I wonder if he's the backdoor type. He probably is. Everybody is the backdoor type when they're winning. I don't know. I feel like... I have no idea where he is. He just like. I feel like I'm gonna get back doored, man. No, okay. He was waiting. Waiting for me to back. He does have a ward. I think he's doing his blue. There he is. Let's see if we can do bull demon. He's just back dooring me. He's just backdooring me. Okay. So he is the backdoor type. But he's the one that runs from you. He's the one that avoids you at all costs just to try to backdoor to win. Even at his own detriment. Interesting. Result is down. That alt being down is really big for me, actually. And I've got my Phoenix back up, too. He's got triple lifesteal, so all the poke I do is not going to matter, obviously. But, um... I think he's running around. I wonder if he's going for Bull Demon. Honestly, if he is, that's fine. I don't really care. What I care about is this. What's this stuff even made of? Hmm. 
did just ward me. If I just go to Bull Demon, are you just gonna run down my Phoenix? press all my buttons here because it gives me damage mitigation and we win we actually win the reason we won that game is not because i'm like a better player or anything he actually just wanted to be disrespectful like he he lost the game by trying to backdoor any means necessary just to get absolutely slaughtered like, I don't know why you would do that. He he won the fight. Like, he won the fight. He got my tower. He got my phoenix. And he was still winning the fights. He just never fought. Like, he was, he was alting to keep me away from him rather than fighting. He was backdooring rather than fighting. He was running rather than fighting. Like, he had so many options to just win the game. And he didn't because he wanted to be disrespectful. Interesting. Either way, um, Osiris being able to beat a Poseidon literally would never happen before this, this buff or this patch. Like it would literally just, I want to, I want to say it's like a 90, 10 matchup for Poseidon. But after this update where you lower his attack speed while gaining attack speed while you're tethered with your passive, um, so you have a 40% attack speed difference and twice as much magical damage mitigation. I think it is honestly more of like a 50, 50 excuse me, 50, 50 matchup because you can like, he can out clear you, but you can out poke him. And then the all in fight, I think is in your favor. Now that you can reduce attack speed so much. So I don't know. I think it is more of a 50, 50 matchup at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time guys, peace.